Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I will be showing you some exercises to help increase range of motion in your back leg extensions, for example, in ponches and grangetes for your back leg, as well as any kind of arabesque movement. Now we're gonna be beginning in parallel and then we'll work our way to turned out. So you will need one loop band and two yoga blocks. Let's get started. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Jasmine McDonald and I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. So let's go ahead and start with the loop band on our thighs. We're gonna swing our legs around into a tabletop option to already put a block underneath one knee. And we're going to keep our belly button connected to our spine. And we're gonna stretch one leg behind us. Just beginning lifting our leg up and down, squeezing our glute to lift the leg, keeping our core really engaged and our belly button connected to our spine. We're gonna do eight of these. Let's do three. And I'll start over actually one. So it's truly a follow along since I was talking through that too. And three, and the band just adds a little bit of resistance that when we take it away, four, it'll be a bit easier. Five, and six, and I'm not arching my back, trying not to, seven, and last one, eight from here, you're going to, I'm gonna flex my foot so you can see, externally rotate the leg so it's turning out like you would do in ballet, and bring it back to parallel. And then again, externally rotate it. Again, I'll flex my foot so you can see and bring it back to parallel. Let's do that six more times. Opening it turned out and parallel. I'm lifting it as high as it can go without arching my lumbar spine and bring it back to parallel. Let's do four more opening and parallel and three and parallel two and parallel and last one. Good, and we're gonna do little pulses an inch up and down. Two, three, four, five in parallel. Six, seven, eight. Now let's turn it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it, keep lifting it. Go onto your elbows and then keeping it turned out, you're going to tap it to your corner of your mat on your right side, or if you're using your left leg or your right leg first, you're gonna tap it to the left side and tap it to the outside. So you're keeping it turned out, tap it to the inside, so you're overcrossing your thighs, and tap it to the outside. Let's do that two more times. So we do four in total. Two, nice and open. And one, so you're doing a little rond de jambe. And one, good, and shake it out. And let's do the same thing second side. Go ahead and switch your block and put your band on your thighs. And then same thing, we start by lifting our leg up and down, nice and easy, eight times. Let's go, eight, seven, six. So we're working with our hip extending, our hip flexors are extending and our glute is contracting. And three, and two, and one. Keeping it here, we externally rotate it, so we turn it out and back. And let's go for two. I'm gonna flex my foot so you can clearly see it. And three. Now think of somebody pulling your foot up and out of your hip socket rather than crunching within your hip. Create lots of length in your hip flexor and within your hip joint. Let's do two more. Two. And last one, one. Bring it back to parallel. Place your elbows down. We pulse it up for eight, seven little pulses. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn it out and tap it to the corner. Lift it and tap it to the other corner, keeping it turned out. And two. If your band slides up, that's okay. <laughs> I know mine is about two. And one. I lied one more after this. And last one. And finish. Beautiful, can't believe the band survived there. Go ahead and put your band on your ankles for the next one. And we're going to lay on our front. We're gonna use the resistance of the band on our ankles this time. Clasp your hands behind your head and I'm just going to explain it before I show it just so I can speak to you guys rather than the floor. You're gonna rotate your legs, turn them out into a first position, and you're gonna lift both legs off of the floor like this. 
Lifting both legs off of the floor, keeping them nice and turned out. You're gonna lift it up and down an inch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I know I was talking to the floor there, so I'll say it again. 10 times an inch off of the floor and lower down. We're gonna do that three times. If this bothers your pelvic bone, go ahead and put a block underneath your um, pelvic region, or you can stuff a sweater there as well. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down, that was once. Let's go for two. Lifting for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down. Last time, we lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Go ahead. Sit back. Stretch it out. And then let's go ahead and take our two yoga blocks in front of us, tuck your toes under, sit your hips out just to, or sit your hips up just to stretch out the back of your legs for a second. Option to keep your band on your ankles for the next one or on your thighs. If you want a little less of a challenge, but still a challenge, I'm going to put the band on my ankles here. And taking one foot in front, one foot behind, in a tendu parallel, you're gonna squeeze your glute to lift your leg up and down 10 times and do 10 pulses. Slightly bend your supporting knee so you can straighten out your spine, just so you're not going down like this with your upper back. Open up your shoulders, lift your shoulders, and lift your upper body. Let's lift our leg for 10. And nine, nice and gentle. Eight. Seven six, five, four, three, two, and we're going to pulse it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just stretch it out in a triangle for a second. And let's switch sides. If you're feeling your hamstrings, totally normal. If you're feeling your glutes, also totally normal. Let's start on the second side. Three, two, one. We lift up for 10. And nine, I forgot to bend the knee, sorry. And eight. I was so into that hamstring stretch. Seven. And six. Five. Squeezing the glute to lift the leg. Four. Three. Two. And last one, we pulse for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stretch it out. Beautiful. Take the band off, still hanging on to your blocks in front of you. Take a step back with your first leg that you started with behind you. And on the next inhale, lift your back heel. Good, go ahead and step forward into a low lunge. You can put that back knee down, option to put a block underneath your back knee. And lower the back knee. And then squeezing the back glute to open up that bottom hip flexor, belly button to spine. Let's bend into a quad stretch. Good, tuck the back toes under, slightly shift the shoulders forward so you take any kind of load off of the lower back. Tucking the toes under, lift the knee without lifting the hip. Squeezing the glute for five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips into a triangle. And then go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, lift the back heel on the next inhale. Exhale, take a big step back. Option to put one block underneath your back knee. And same thing here. Try to stack the shoulders on top of the hips, squeezing your back glute. 
And let's go ahead and bend the back knee into a quad stretch. Good, extending the knee, tuck the back toes, lift the knee without lifting the hips for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Take a step forward into a triangle. Good, go all the way down. Very last thing we will do to strengthen your upper body for arabesques. Go ahead and take your second pose that we did on our front with your arms straight out, your feet underneath you. You're gonna lift your upper body slightly off the floor. One, two, three, four. Still engaging the back of the legs for five, six, seven, eight. Lower down, Let's slightly lift up a bit more. Think of belly button to spine. Lift up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower down. This time, just using your fingertips, press up, but use minimal use of your fingertips on the floor, start to walk up and then gently let go of the floor with one hand and lower and let's switch and lower and again let's switch and lower and switch. Now I'm only using about 20% on my fingertips. I'm really engaging the back of my legs and using my core so that I protect my back when I'm in this arch and I'm using my back muscles as well to open up my shoulders. Got an option here to press a bit higher and then hold this position for five, four, three, two, one. Whew, it is so hard to talk there with my um, spine curved. Beautiful. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed those exercises. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next. Take care, happy dancing, and until next time, bye now.